Oh, here we go. Ghostbusters on the NES. By request of Mr. Andrew, one, two, three, four, six. I guess he skipped five. If you, uh, if you're like me and you grew up in the '80s, you know everything was all about Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters was just awesome. God, why did he put speech samples in it? Uh, I think you got to go to the shop first. Uh, it's been a long time since I played this. Uh, you know, it's kind of a disappointing game. But uh, there you go. All right. It's all about resource management and a whole bunch of other shit that you really don't want to play in a Ghostbusters game. It should be about catching ghosts, but, you know, not really. What? Okay. This MSN is giving me a weird message, but I'm recording right now, so that'll have to wait. But, uh, yeah, um... Yeah, I was able to click it. Actually, I actually didn't have this for NES. This is probably my first time playing the NES uh, version. I had it. I had the PC version. So, you know. I got pretty far in it. I never beat it, though. Let's see. Ghost Vacuum you want. Um, I'll capture beam you need. The ghost food is worthless. Uh, and I go suit. You don't need that to the end, anyway. You need a trap. By two traps. Well, you really want the super trap, but it's not a while before you're able to afford that. Buy a couple more traps. Alright. Just Alright, so basically you just kinda wait. It, it's not smart to move around too much, because then when you go to the driving stage you gotta like drive extra and that's a pain in the ass. And you just gotta wait for like a one of the buildings to flash and oh look I'm right there already. And you drive there, that ain't gonna take long because I'm already there. Why is it taking so long? Alright. It's right across the street. I could have walked, and then you try to catch the ghost. You lay the trap. And then you No. Come on. Come here, you. And you grab the ghosts, and you gotta hit the A button to trap them. I don't know how to get the other alright, well I got three ghosts. And you get money for the ghost, so right now I'm just going to save up for a super trap. I don't know, I mean, you know, I'm only going to play this for a little while. It's a, it's a long game to play through. This wonderful 8-bit rendition of the Ghostbusters theme song. It's actually half-decent on uh, Sega Master System. This is probably the best version. Better than the PC version, even, from what I can tell. Because I've never, I've never played it, but it looks better than the... <laughs> But, uh, man, yeah, this one, I don't know. It's also an Atari, if you go, oh, same building, look at that. I really should not have to drive. I mean, it's right there. There we go. Alright, drop the trap. Uh, I'm just trying to fit. You don't want to cross the street. Ow, oh, tits. <laughs> just... Sometimes it's hard to control, too. I... All right, I wait a little longer. It's it's a dull game. I mean, it could be a little bit rewarding if you learn how to play it and you spend a lot of time with it. But it's it's dull. Oh, jeez! Every time it's that building, Ghostbusters should just friggin' put their headquarters right outside the place. I'm almost out of gas from staying here at the same building. Isn't that great? <laughs> Come here. Oh, no! Why does it do that? Oh. Ah, it was much easier on the PC to get the ghosts. Assuming you had a joystick. <laughs> Alright. I can't... Why is that ghost just hanging out there? <laughs> He's just chilling. They're all supposed to go to the zoo. Ooh, here we are, here we are. Hmm. Just keep an eye out for that ghost, because I did pass through him. Almost had a gas... Oh, I was looking at the gas gauge, and I missed the ghost. Isn't that shitty? Oh, that was gas. Yeah. Oh, excitement. Like I said, dull game, you know. 
And that costs money too. Oh come on, they'll, they'll just put 20 bucks in it, come on. And now the building's not flashing anymore because you took me to the gas station instead of the fucking building. Ah, oh, shitty balls, shitty balls. I love how you're, like, they couldn't put the sprite of the car, it's the Ghostbusters logo. It's fucking great. That's brand recognition there for you. Oh, right there, there we go. Keep an eye out for that ghost. I'll try and snag him. Oh, oh. I forget you want to run into them. Because that's how you gas up your car, right? You just run into barrels of fuel that happen to be on the road. Why would they be there? I don't know. You know, and running into them somehow puts it into your gas tank. I, the Ghostbusters, the Ecto-1 has the... Oh, got him. It has the worst... I got some money. Oh, man, I lost some money. has the worst gas mileage ever. Look at the fucking gauge. It's halfway down already. And what I love is you, you lose $100 for getting into a collision with another car. Don't they, you know... But you, you get, like, $1,200 for catching a ghost. It's fucking weird. Like, only $100 for crashing? They must have awesome insurance. I want whatever insurance they have. My deductible's like 500 bucks. so... Which, in itself, is actually pretty good. Here, wait. I'm gonna put you over there, and... Come here, ghosts. Oh, it's the B button. Okay. But he can't walk past the trap. Come here, you. Oh, Okay. No, no. Up? Okay. Ah, oh, but... That's another thing. If it takes too long, they just decide to leave. Well, you know, like I said, it's a dull game. It takes forever to get anything done. I'm gonna stop the video here, because there's really not much point to showing it anymore. It's Ghostbusters on the NES. Hope you all enjoyed it. See you with some Chrono Trigger coming up.